verse begins on page 355. Alleluia, Christ is risen. The Lord is risen indeed. Alleluia. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. In 
into your hands, O Lord, my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord, O God of truth. Make your face to shine upon your servant, and in your loving kindness, save me.
not let your hearts be troubled. Believe in God. Believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many dwelling places. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to him, Lord, we do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father and we will be satisfied. Jesus said to him, How have I been with you all this time, Philip, and you still do not know me? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Do you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I say to you, I do not speak on my own, but the Father who dwells in me does his works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me. But if you do not, then believe me because of the works themselves. Very truly I tell you, the one who believes in me will also do the works that I do, and in fact will do greater works than these, because I am going to the Father. I will do whatever you ask in my name, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If in my name you ask me for anything, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, our Lord Christ. of your faithful people with the power of your word. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. And will the children between the ages of about one and five please come and sit here in the front pew? Eric and Timmy and Mariano. And he also anointed him with special holy oil. 
and the Archbishop prayed that King Charles would be a good and faithful king and that he would live and govern the people in the way that God wants him to do. Now, in our country, do we have a king? No. No, we have a queen? No. No, we don't. In our country, we do things a little differently. We elect our leaders. That means we get to choose them. And when all of you guys are old enough, you get registered to vote, and then you go and vote for whoever the president or the governor or the senator is going to be. But in our second Bible reading today, we heard a letter that the Apostle Peter wrote to Christians in, uh, in an area of what's called Asia Minor. He wrote to just ordinary people, ordinary Christians, who were followers of Jesus. And he said to them something very special. He said, why don't you look at me this way? Okay. He said, you are a chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's own people. So any of you sitting out there, did you hear that line? Did you pick up on that at all? Maybe you just glossed right over it. Sometimes that happens when we're hearing scripture read publicly. But the idea of a royal priesthood, now, that's an interesting, unusual phrase. Because the people that Peter was writing to were not kings or queens. They weren't in charge of leading worship. They weren't powerful. In fact, sometimes their neighbors and the people in charge of them gave them a hard time because they followed Jesus. Thank you. So Peter was writing to these people to encourage them, to encourage them and to support them. So they weren't actual kings and queens, but I'm going to ask the kids this first. All these people who were Christians were following someone who was a king. Do you know who they were following? Can you guess? They were following Jesus. Yeah. Do I, have you ever heard of Jesus referred to as a king? No? Anybody out there ever heard Jesus referred to as a king? Yes. What do we sometimes say about Jesus? He's king of kings and lord of lords. We sometimes say that, don't we? But Jesus was a special kind of king. Did he have a crown like this? Did Jesus have a crown like this? No. Jesus had a crown of thorns when he was on the cross. And that showed us how much Jesus loves us because Jesus was willing to give his life for us. And because Jesus came to love and serve all the people, Jesus wants us to do the same thing. And part of the way that Jesus served people was that he cared about people who were poor, or hungry, or sick, or lonely, or left out, or hurt, or sad. Boys, do you ever know anybody who is sick or sad or left out or maybe someone that somebody makes fun of? Anybody out there ever know people like that? I think we all do at one time or another. In fact, we've probably all been those people at one time or another. And Jesus comes to serve us and to care for us and to love us. And so... Jesus then calls us to serve in his name, to serve all of those people. And that's what it means, in part, for us to be a royal priesthood. That's what it means for us to be a royal priesthood. So, do you remember, guys, do you remember that I told you that yesterday King Charles got a crown? And he also was anointed with oil, a special holy oil. But you know something? We Christians all get anointed with the same kind of special holy oil. Did you know that? Just like the king did. Do you know when that happens? Anybody out there know when that happens? 
Baptism. At your baptism, correct. So when each of you were baptized, you got special holy oil called chrism, and it was made, a, a cross was made on your forehead. And so today, I'm going to remind you that you are God's holy, royal, beloved person by giving you some chrism again. I'm going to make the sign of the cross on your forehead. No? Okay, Tim. You are, you are God's holy, beloved, special person. Want to try? No? Okay. I'll do your dad. You are God's holy, beloved, special person. 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 Want to try it? I'll do that. You are God's holy, beloved, special person. Okay. Another time. Another time. It's okay. So I want you to remember today that we are all God's holy, beloved, royal, special people because we follow Jesus, who is the King of Kings. Amen. 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 Thank you. Go sit down. Now, continuing on page 358, let us stand and give our hearts to God in the words of the Nicene Creed. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of his Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was a man. For our sake he was crucified on the cross of Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He is so guilty of the cross. We believe in one holy God with the Baptist Church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Lord, hear our prayer. 
Let us pray for the church that it may carry forward the redemptive works of God, for our clergy and bishops, for the many lay people who serve the church, and for the world through the church, especially Mary Beth Finn, Don and Joanne Fries, Janet Gibbs, Lee and Jake Gluffs, Gillespie, Jessica and Bailey, Heather Gillis and Tom Graves, Harry and Lucas, Parker Goodwin, Audrey. For God's blessing, wisdom, and guidance on King Charles III as he formally begins his reign, and for the ministry of all saints, counters, and tellers, for those gathered here in worship and prayer. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the newly baptized, that the joy of Easter may ever grow within them, and that the Spirit may guide them in lives of active faith. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the nations and peoples of the world, and the powers that oppress and destroy may decline, and that justice, peace, and prosperity be lifted up. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for those who are sick, those who suffer, those who struggle. Especially Carol C., Barbara Urday, Chris G., Hilda, Mark and Joanne Hip, Steve Wallach, Lori, Mary Beth, Allison, Will Senior, David Thurstfeld, Carol Sow, Phyllis Wallace. And all those who have died. Remembering especially those who were killed in the shooting in Texas yesterday. That the hope born of Easter give them peace, acceptance, and renewal. And that through their struggles they may come into closer communion with the God who redeems and restores. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. O God, who by the glorious resurrection of your Son, Jesus Christ, destroyed death and brought life and immortality to light, grant that we who have been raised with him may abide in his presence and rejoice in the hope of eternal glory through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be dominion and praise forever and ever. Amen. Returning to page 360, let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess that we have, have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We, we have not loved, loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry, sorry and humbly repent. For the, the sake, sake of your, your Son, Jesus Christ, Christ have, have mercy on us and forgive us, us that we may be life in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. Amen. Please stand. My brothers and sisters, the peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Please share with one another a sign of God's peace. Good morning and welcome to our service this morning and welcome to those who are joining us on Zoom. Um, I think the first thing to say is some of you are aware of the fact that um, on Thursday our music director Allison Senior Brown uh, went to the emergency room. She had uh, gallbladder surgery. The gallbladder had been infected and I believe that she's coming home from the hospital today. Uh, so we will be praying for her, continuing to pray for her recovery and her health. 
And in the meantime, we're very grateful that Chris Hatcher could be with us here today as our guest organist. Thank you very much, Chris. Um, the other announcements that we have, uh, Fish and Chips Dinner is coming on May 25th. Um, if you are able to have a sign on your property, you know, at the end of your driveway, please sign up on the big poster board in the narthex. And we're going to take that list to the township. We need to get permission from the town to do that. And we have to know that you're willing to have a sign. But we have signs that we can give you to put on your property. Uh, also, there are other, other things that we need, especially serving, packing, takeout orders, all those kinds of things. So if you can help with any of that, please sign up. And if you want, would like to buy tickets today, John has them after church. So, oh, and also there are flyers, fish and chips flyers out on the table in the narthex. If you want to take one or two or several to put up around uh, town, places where you go, please do that. So we know that um, the word is going to get out. Uh, the Parish House uh, flood update, we're waiting now for a response from the insurance company to know what they're going to uh, cover. So please continue to be patient. Um, uh, 256 flower sale continues today. You can go downtown and, and see what they have available there. Uh, there are also uh, the announcement about the two funerals that are coming up in May, particularly Liz Newberger's funeral next Saturday. That information is here. Are there any other announcements for the parish this morning? Does anybody have a birthday or an anniversary or some other milestone in the month of May? Please come forward. children as their days increase, O oh Lord, especially Kathy, Alex, Roger, and Suzanne. Bless and guide them wherever they may be. Strengthen them when they stand. Comfort them when discouraged or sorrowful. Raise them up if they fall, and in their hearts may thy peace, which passeth understanding, abide all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread, and when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine, and when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore, we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is risen. Christ, Christ will come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in this sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive his holy sacrament and serve you in unity, constancy, and peace. And at the last day, bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, Almighty Father, now and forever.